be so, happy for other people because yes, I feel so. like because I would go to everyone I was always happy to be yeah. on whatever show I was on and I would always give 100% yeah. so it kind of like I was just shining without yeah. even realising that I was shining yeah, yeah. to the point that it benefited me so yeah. if you are an entrepreneur if you're someone that wants to start a business don't let just because one thing might not go right the first time don't let that stop you because so not. many businesses is never the first yeah, one it's never you have the first to go one. through quite a bit because you're learning as you go it yeah long. why have a rule but then you just think it's dangerous territory because why you create this situation and it's like you know babe you're like this as well <laughs> You experience something one time and you really enjoy it. And I want to do it again. You want to do it again? One Extra presents Pressed. Hi guys, it's your girl Adiola Patron. You know the vibes already. Hey guys, it's me Mara Musa, your Miss Unproblematic. And welcome back to another amazing Pressed podcast episode. And guys, it's a special day today for mm-hmm. a few reasons. Tell them why. Number one, it's been two years of press. Boop, boop. So our two-year anniversary, so let's get some extra love. Let's give ourselves a round of applause because... Yes, two two years! years. We've done it, guys. So that means we're here to stay then. 100%. If you could do two years, years, it's like, yeah, it's for life. (laughs) Literally. And then another celebration is that we've actually been shortlisted for the British Podcast Awards for Sex and Relationship Podcast. Woo! Woo! It's crazy because we were saying that earlier, like, since when were we sex and relationship? I thought we were just a real life, but yeah. sex and relationship is real life. And I feel like we're just really open. Yeah. Sometimes, I sometimes feel I'm too open. Same. But you lot, we do it for you lot. So make sure you guys are constantly commenting on the YouTube, yeah. subscribing, watching us because we've got visuals for you lot now. Yeah, and we audio. fought so hard for them visuals, guys. So don't come and embarrass us and then yeah. don't watch the visuals and yeah. then just take it back. Like, they didn't want it anyway. <laughs> But yeah, like, I feel like this episode is a good one because we want to talk about our six month review. You guys know that Adriel and I are very open about what we do, what we love doing, where we want to be, where we're at. And I think we've got to a stage in the year where we can kind of talk about what we've been up to and what we've been proud of and where we are with our audience. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you've been working We've got on another stuff. six months to go. Yeah, so it's a so, nice reflect. Yeah. Reflective session. So let me, I'll start with you, okay, Miss cool. AP. What, right. How are you? First of all, how are you? <laughs> how Mentally, are you? Um, work-wise, like where are you right now in this six months? Um, I think where I'm at right now is I'm very, very, very grateful. Very I love that content yeah. however I'm still very much hungry if yeah. not hungrier I feel like you know when you start to achieve stuff you start to think like okay cool this is just my mom says this quote to me where it's like um what's, what's that quote about like the sky is the limit but the sky is just your beginning oh because there's a whole universe <laughs> literally there's a whole universe <laughs> yeah so I think yeah I'm quite good work-wise career-wise mm. really good personal life really, really good, good. Yeah. love my friends love my family love all my boyfriends <laughs> <laughs> no I'm joking Rasta. but yeah no but what about you babe I will say I'm in the same kind of position I feel like on, if you guys have obviously been listening to us for a minute and like watching us, you'll know that I'm very I'm very vocal if I'm not happy about something, if I'm stressed yeah. out about something. And I think for me, like work was always something that I've always put as my number one. Mm-hmm. Like I've always wanted to like push myself, get myself in like different spaces. And I feel like where I am right now, I was complaining about six months ago, like saying I don't feel like I'm, you know, involved. I don't feel like yeah. I'm part of something. And like now I can say that, like, rah, like You're I am. In, yeah. yeah, I'm in. And I'm really grateful. Yeah. I'm really happy. Because Maz, always used to, Maz always used to say, say this thing to, to me be, yeah. yeah she felt like oh I don't really have a person like maybe I'm just not, I don't fit in the personality space yeah. or maybe I'm just not as like loud or as funny and I always used to say to you babe like no you're you and that's yeah. just all you need to, to be. be yeah and that's just what you're doing yes yeah, so I'm like the same as I do I just feel very content very happy and I feel like you know the ones where it's like I just feel good now like I feel like I'm so sure of myself I'm just that bitch now and do you know what I mean and I just yeah. use all this like positive energy and I'm so excited for the rest of the year yeah. and I feel like um, I'm just I'm happy to have done most of it with you as well on top you're of so like you're so adorable oh my god this girl <laughs> It's always Say nice. that again. It's always, I've, I've loved doing it with Adriano as well. Do you know what I mean? So I just yeah, think no, it's now is a nice space where, you know, we're just branching out, doing different things, enjoying it and just, you know, making the most of it. And like you said, I'm more hungry. Yeah. And yeah, I'm here for more money. Hello. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> 100% more money. What else? Is what do you feel like? So obviously you're do you haven't even announced something that's mad, babe. Have I not spoke about it on No, here? speak about it. Okay, so I've got my own show coming <laughs> out. 
It's actually crazy because I remember when, so at that period, I yeah. had just left my management yeah. and I was just like, I'm very much a, well, how do I describe it? Like, I just like things to be done and it's like, yeah, I don't has, wait. Yeah, it has to be patterned. You don't yeah, like, like to wait I just around. like to, it's like, cool, if you can't do it, I could just do it myself. Like, yeah. I would just keep going. So I remember when I left, I was like, okay, cool. I left my management now. I'm going to just be proactive and I set up the meeting with... But I set up the meeting with, with the, commissioners. the commissioners. Yeah. And I was, I remember feeling so nervous going into the oh. meeting because I was like, I didn't have like a manager or representation. So I was just yeah. like, okay, hey, how did these stuff really go? Like, yeah. how do you tell them? Like, hey guys, actually... For my own me, show. Like, I want to do this. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like, it was just really like, I feel like it was just such a, what's that thing that just makes you feel like, damn, like I really did that. Like you feel good. Like I could do anything. Yeah. Kind of thing. It's like a, um, what's the word? It's like a, you feel accomplished. You feel like you're unstoppable. Yeah. You're, unstoppable. Yeah. Accomplished. Yeah. Because I remember I was so nervous for that meeting. And I was oh, just like two you. of them, two of the commissioners. And I was just like having dinner. I was like, okay, cool. When do I start talking about what, what I want? want. Yeah. So I just, told them my idea and I feel like they believed in me and I'd worked previously with production teams and you know like this is what they say like when they say like all these people that you meet 100%. it always works out at the end because I was yeah. I was working with all these production people for other people's shows or branded shows yeah. so it was like you're very committed to the to the companies you showed up like yeah. I always say like when people ask me like what three things you need to do be nice yeah. sharp on time and also just be committed to yeah, it and show them like, a good time yeah. like why so they kind of like believed in me. So yeah, I was like, yeah, told yeah. them my show. They knew my personality from being work, all already. these other shows. Yeah. So then it took a while. Like even sometimes I'll be thinking, is it still happening? But obviously all these things take long because they yeah, got to commission yeah, yeah. it, etc. And I feel like sometimes like when I'm on set filming for it, like even like with Mice's one, it's like the production is so big. And yeah. I'm like, how is all of this yeah. for like But it's me? nice. And I feel like there was literally the other day, like when I came back from holiday, there was some guy that came up to me and was asking me like, oh, how do you look? Like he's just inspiring. And I think it, is nice because listen like you see so much things online as like an mm. easy cheap way to get yeah. into these things no like you've been in the industry for so long you've worked really hard you've had to like gr you know sometimes you've got to yeah. bite like, your you teeth and like really like just do it for the sake of like yeah. you know and I just feel like it's so important to be like that and literally you're like a walking testimony of that like listen oh, work hard you, yeah. do what you need to do stay focused come be on time and sometimes it's not all about it's not always about the money it's always about doing, yeah. sometimes you've got to do and favors, also be like, happy for other people because yes, I feel uh, like because I would go to everyone I was always happy to be yeah. on whatever show I was on and I would always give 100% yeah. so it kind of like I was just shining without yeah. even realising that I was shining yeah, yeah, yeah. to the point that it benefited me so yeah, yeah. anyway guys I've got my own show coming out Woo. soon so please Make like sure comment subscribe it. support 100%. support the thing so no I'm really proud of it I'm really happy and I know this like me and I was saying to Adriana how like there was I will never forget this moment at your house right so we were by her balcony yeah I remember that cool. time you guys you just you got this mad because we we're like saying oh, I want to do this this time next year I want to be like this and guys is literally happening like what I've wanted what she's wanted yeah. in existence so if you, anything you want, just speak in existence because yeah. I feel like it And happens. believe in it. Yeah. Because when you believe in something, you ba you basically take actions into it. Exactly. Basically manifesting itself. Yeah. Because you're, it's already happened. Exactly. So why would I not message these commissioners and ask them for to come to me exactly. for a dinner? So. No, but I'm really happy for you. Like, I feel like this is just the beginning of so much more. Oh, so I wish you guys tune in. Both of us. What's your highlight of your year, though, would you say? Well, not even year. Let's say six, six months. months. But Ooh. six, my six months is <sighs> equates to about a year. Because so two. much <laughs> happens in... Guys. Six months. Yeah, like, I, I, do you know what I've realised about myself? I think I'm so free-spirited. I feel yeah. like I don't like being too... Um, conditioned and yeah. put down into one thing so I think for me like I'm really because you've really transitioned yeah I've had to re-transition guys like I was very much makeup fashion like I've started with proper makeup yeah and oh God, yeah makeup and then fashion content and then obviously like I'll do stuff with you start on YouTube as normal like joining like with always, my friends yeah, yeah with my friends and then I think having to really like push that side of like makeup and fashion was really hard for me and I think that's where I think I was so frustrated with like oh maybe I'm not a personality person or maybe I don't mm. have enough personality to do all these other things and I think that's what I'm really happy to be doing now and I think my friends have really been able to bring that out of me yeah. do you know what I mean so I'm very grateful like every time I'm on shoot I'm like guys I'm just happy to be here like <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm literally just happy to be here. So it's just nice. And I think like for me doing making it was really like that, that little, really, just yeah. something just to be like, oh, I've done something where it's like different. Yeah. And I've really involved like people that I really respect in the industry that also have their own journey. Like we're all trying to make it. So it's like doing the whole production like that and getting like storylines for people and hopefully like pushing it further was my biggest thing. So that yeah, was a I big think, project. Yeah, and even starting my business, like, starting a business for me I think I started it in lockdown I think at the time I was just that fear of like oh my god like it's lockdown oh my god am I gonna am be I relevant really, yeah. like I need something as a back as a backup but also was something that I loved at the time so even just doing them steps because I hadn't done anything like you sort of had done yeah. like merch I had never never done anything like that so doing that was really big for me and really understanding the side of and business and you learn so much from it oh you learn like, so much like I just like know now like because I had the cosmetics with the Patrons. We've yeah. done that for a bit. And then I had my merch. So it's yeah. like, now I know like, if I, well, when I do bring out a brand, yes. it's like, I've learned so much from yeah. mistakes that yeah, you yeah, make. Yeah, yeah, and I 100%. feel like sometimes you actually need to go through that to really get to yeah. the level. And they always say, listen, guys, don't let any, like, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're someone that wants to start a business, don't let... Just because one thing might not go right the first time, don't let that stop you. Because so not. many businesses is never the first yeah, one. It's you never have the first to go one. through quite a bit because you're learning as you go along. Yeah. And I feel like unless you've got like, you've been like in business. You've and got you've that, got your family that's yeah. had all these businesses that are succeeding. You don't you really don't learn and these experience, things. I always believe that experience brings out so Wisdom. much more. Mm. It does. Do you feel like outside of career, because obviously we're very career focused babies, yeah, like, do you know what are. I mean? Do you feel like outside of that, there's been things in the past six months that's been positive or they've like played a part in like your happiness and your success, would you oh, say? Oh, 100%. Ooh, what? Just everyone, like my sister. <laughs> like yeah. my sister. Yeah, like, I feel like everyone around me believes in me so much that I'll be dumb not to believe in myself. Like my sister, yeah. everyone I work with, Nicole, yeah. Ash, Ash, it's taking it back to work though. However, they're they are actually my are. friends as yeah. well. Like my, if I tell my sister something, like it's kind of like a, well, duh. Like, do, why would you think you can't? Yeah, if yeah, I tell yeah, Nicole yeah. something, it's like, as you should. Like everyone yeah. around me that I work with also are my friends, like you yeah. as well. They yeah, literally Yeah, because I was waiting make, for my name. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they said apart from you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, and you, my friends, Olivia, yeah. my mom, like, literally, yeah. like, you got a good support system, babe. They, 100%. Like, it's like, okay, and you, as we thought you, like, yeah, what's yeah, next, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. So, and I've been having a good time. Yeah, baby, like, you've had the whole out. show. I mean, we're, babe, we're not talking about work. I know, but when you deep it, show, we've been outside. Yeah. We've been, do you know what I mean? I would say that this has been a very good year. Yeah, like, like socially been good as well. Yeah. Like we go out, we have fun, we we we're going to dinner. We get invited to nice places. Like it's lit. So. And like we'll be having like people want to go out with us now, like just to catch up and uh, stuff. People want to come on our podcast. Like we don't really need to request it. People be yeah, like, 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 like oh, oh, or like have you a bit? People will be so obviously Love Island's going on. People are like yeah, you don't need to get Whitney on press. Like people see us as a standard. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? It's and nice. it's like it's nice. nice. It's like okay. Yeah. They f- with the kids. They come. <laughs> yeah, literally like what about you though who's making you smile personally like what's what's any personal <clears throat> so i think personally for me like i would say like i ooh, you know what with me this year i'd say friendship wise mm. has been a shift oh you have had a shift i've had a big shift i'll say friendship wise and i think i'm just in an era right i'm in a stage right now where maybe certain people are more involved in my life than other people Okay. And I feel like those people involved currently, I they really make the biggest difference. Like, okay. I would say, like, you know how you say you got your ash, like, all them lot. Mm. I, like, I have my Chris, like, my, do you know what I mean? My yeah. ex are, like, really rooting, always making me, like, elevate. Like, you need yeah. to do this and do that. Like, you need to tap into this. And it's, yeah. like, it's so nice to have that back in. What do you feel, like, created the shift? Like, do you feel like it was work or how did mm. the shift come about? Because you're, you're very much a groupy kind of person, whereas with me and my friendship, like, I have two people and that's that. That's it, yeah. And I, I have a set whole... people, like, no one can... Obviously, I'm cool with people, but no one would think to be calling my phone expecting me to be there for them. Yeah, like, yeah. You know where you, you, you stand. stand. Yeah. I feel like with me, like, I think um, I have... I, I have... 
I have, do you know what? I have my friends, like obviously we have like, us lot, we have the industry yeah. friends, it's calm. And you know, I have my friends outside of the industry. Yeah. So I feel like in that sense of my like personal life, it's been a, a shift. Like I would say it's not how it used to be. Is that because everyone's busy? I would say because everyone's busy. And I'll say that I think, <clears throat> I feel like as you get older, you learn that life gets in the way. And I feel like unfortunately, certain people, you just don't make the same time for. And they just don't make the same time for you. And especially if you're the type that's like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like- Do you life... feel like you were making a time or do you feel like it was a mutual thing? Mm, I'd say, I would say, it's so hard. I feel like where I am right now is that, unfortunately, I'm not, the time that I did spend with people is just not there anymore. Yeah, yeah. But- How does that make you feel though? Look at you. <laughs> Hey. Um, obviously it's not nice it's kind of sad yeah ve- like because I'm not gonna lie sorry no at all did I but... cut you off no no no, no it's fine because I feel like I've not that I've obviously Olivia's my best friend and she is still my best friend but obviously when she started a family I did have to go through that shift and she we are still close but, now yeah but it's like that you need to adapt to, to... that shift and sometimes when it first happens yeah. it's like whoa like okay everyone actually has their own life. life yeah and then once you get past that shift there's a way that it starts to work for you. In I feel this like new... I'm not there yet. I feel okay. like in my, like on my side, when I think of outside of like, you know, art, like, like influence in our industry, whatever, I feel like I could still probably work on that side of things, getting that yeah. shift right. But um, it's sad. I do yeah. feel quite sad about it and I hope it got, gets better. But I just feel like there's just so much in it mm. that is very difficult. And I feel like, I was literally talking to my friend about it. My friend was like, why are you always trying to fix everything? Like sometimes just let things are just running the course because of that's how it is. You can't, you can't keep trying to bring things together or get yeah. people back if no one, some people just don't want it. Yeah. And I think I'm, it's And it hard. might even not be that they don't want it. It just might just be like the space they're in now. Yeah. And I think I've had to relearn that um, recently. And I, I hope for better. Yeah. I do hope for bet because sometimes I look at my snap stories, I'm just thinking, oh my oh, god, so we this was is... having so much fun. We yeah, were doing this. Like, this was like we were this close and now unfortunately it's not there. And obviously I would say, yeah, I've have a pl- part to play, everyone has a part to play. Yeah. And I hope it gets better. But I, in the positives, like out of those sad situations, I think friendships have developed where I've really deep, like raw, like you're actually the most like you support me no matter what like you've got me and I think it's really good to have that outside of our industry you know how you say you've got like you've got your bestie and she does everything for you I think I've kind of I've got my circle but I've had I've deeped in my circle like raw like you're kind of always there yeah. and you always really support and I've really appreciated that. Yeah. And yeah, like it's made me, I, I feel like I'm happy. Relationship wise, I'm, I, you guys know, I've been saying I'm single. Um, but I've been but outside. You was si- oh wait, no, you were single from last year. Sorry. Yeah, from last year, but obviously we just proper talked about it this yeah. year. But I've been outside, like I've really enjoyed just going out and not stressing about going home to someone or, yeah. oh my God, I hope I don't move too mad. It's been nice. So I say I'm in a, I'm happy. Like I'm really happy. I've, I've traveled more than I expected this yeah, year. Like, been, yeah, yeah, and like, it wasn't in my plan at all. Yeah. So I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, like I've had such good nights out with you as well. Like it's just been good. I had really good work opportunities with you. Like it's nice. Like I'm very happy with life right now. So that's good. Yeah. What do you expect from the next six months or like, how are you feeling about the next six months? Okay, so the next six months- Any plans? Okay, so I would say the next six months for me, let me start with career. I think career, I'm really happy that things are going. Um, Obviously I've got my own little project making it, like developing that, getting that done for the end of the year, fingers crossed. Amen. Um, Obviously we're working, like being involved with like, a new platform at the moment doing hopefully do stuff with them that'd be nice and then just you know just pushing more we do podcasting broadcasting style so that's just where I'm focused and then when I think of like my personal like I'm not trying to be outside for that long like I know I've been screaming I'm outside but no like I'm not made for it like respectfully like September like I'm trying to actually meet an eligible bachelor that Mm -hmm. is like you know when you're seriously dating and then end of the year hopefully (laughs) listen to me plan it meet someone that is my last like that's yeah. it and then settle a little bit and then still doing everything else like, everything else i'm doing like that's my main priority like career same old yeah. getting shit done and then i would like like to like intentionally go out of my way and meet eligible candidates yeah. not chewing gum boys yeah. not idiots not 
a short time. Like I am actually, if I'm dating you, I'm yeah. not messing around yeah. and I can be crazy. So don't come in my space if you're just going to waste my time. It. Like I'm not about it because I will f*** you up. Okay, fairs. Just saying. Just fairs. <laughs> <laughs> and then what are you, AB? I think for me, um, guys, so this year I actually want to actually launch my brand. Ooh. Yeah, so I want to step into my little projects. Um, it's not actually little projects. There's it's nothing little thing. when it comes to AP. You know. But um, yeah, I want to do that. I want to obviously do, oh my gosh, yeah have a, more seasons of yeah, my show. Of course. Um, have oh other gosh, shows. Other shows. Yeah, of course. And then I do want to, like, obviously, like, I like being talent in the show, but I would love to, like, present a show. Like, not actually yeah. be involved in it, but, but just, like... oversee it. Yeah, Literally. So I would like to experience that side of things. Um... What else would I what like to do? What about the love side? Because where's our... What's going on with... Mr. Matins. <laughs> Like, so where are you? Side. Like, what's your love side? Because you've been, yeah, you haven't really said much this episode. You know? I know. So, love side, I, I feel like I'm definitely more intentional now. Like, Good. before I was really like, do you know what? If it happens, it happens, but not really caring to do yeah. about it. So, but now I'm very much like, okay, I'm talking to you and I'm open to talking to you and we're very intentional. Um, Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm just enjoying dating right now. Yeah, dating. Just yeah, dating. so I'm enjoying dating right now. And yeah, we're very intentional. I feel like by the end of the year, 100%, I want to just really be like, okay, guys, the person I can actually is there. see yeah, this person yeah, yeah. as my husband. Yes, because we are not doing no chewing gum little relationship. Like, it's all or nothing. Yeah. So don't come with all your stupid half Energy, half water. stuff. Nah, nah, I want a full glass. Or is it a full vessel? Empty vessel, so I can put myself want an in empty it. Vessel. We want a full vessel. We want our vessels empty or full. Oh, I feel like they're empty and we, we fill we, it. Is it? We what? just want a good guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So yeah, because I'm. Do you know what? Like the like the next year, I want to be actually going on vacations Bye. with my friend. Yeah. Like I want to tap into that side of I like. Tell go vacation like, with my friend. Yeah, babe, <laughs> me and you and our man. <laughs> Like next year, I'm not saying we're outside. We're outside with, with our, our mans. mans. Like we're Come going, on. babe. Let's go here. We because yeah. me and mans will just be dragging them into stuff they don't know about. But 100%. you just got to be the one. Yeah, I love that so, for us. Um, well, here's to the future. Yeah. Here's to the future. Here's to more blessings and success and more money. Per and to the peaches too. Yes. yes. Per click click. <laughs> Hey Peaches, so if you're enjoying this episode, you already know you can listen to this on BBC Sounds. We have a new episode out every Friday. Now, let's get back to the video. Let's actually find out what's been going on in you guys' lives. So let's move over to the hotline. What are you saying? What are you telling us? What's got you lot pressed? Hair like this is the press hotline. Hi Adiola and Mariam. Okay, girls, so I'm marrying the love of my life next year and we have decided to give each other one whole pass each before we live our best married life. But the thing is, my fiancé wants to use his for a threesome and I'm not down for that. I know I agree to a whole pass, but I didn't agree to this. I don't want to be boring, but what if he likes the other girl better? What if she feels better? I can't lie, it actually scares me. But like, how can I talk to him out of this without seeming like I'm backing out our deal? I need some good excuses. Help me. Oh, that's <laughs> a good one. Wow, that I is, that. Jesus, I just, right, I'm one pass before we marry. I'm going to ask um, you first. What do you think of that whole situation? Like, well, I feel like, let's talk about her. Okay, and then I'm cool. going to ask how you would be in that. So yeah. I feel like if they've if they're both comfortable to agree with a pass and it's gonna just be a pass and left as that, you lot have already weighed it up and that's what you wanna do. Calm. But the pass didn't say it has to be a threesome. So I feel like if he wants to use it for a threesome, don't include me in your pass. Your pass is your pass. Okay. I don't need to know like for me, if yeah. I was gonna do a pass, I wouldn't wanna know your pass. But Loki, I feel like before you even get married, I feel like you'd know with your partner if you'd be into a threesome or not. He like like, do you know what I mean? Ignore yeah. the past bit. Ignore like. But I feel past. like guys are always into threesomes. 
Yeah, some girls are, some girls aren't. I feel like you would know with your partner. Like, yeah. I, if I'm not into threesomes, like, and you're having them open conversations with your partner, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm not really about that. Like, but you know, like, sometimes, like, you do feel like, well, someone not just did it for me, like, a one-time thing. So he's probably just trying his luck. luck. Like, what about just one time? Because like, they get a gonna, pass. It's an actual pass. Yeah, you're saying that, like, yeah. we're going to get married. Let's just do it. But my thing is... What's your thing? What about you just enjoy the past so much and you want more. Like, I feel like guys are crackheads as well. So it's like, they can but enjoy something. But then there could something. be rules. There could be rules. You know how long like a why have a rule, but then you just think it's dangerous territory because why you create this situation and it's like, you know, babe, you're like this as well. <laughs> you experience something one time and you really enjoy it. And I want to do it again. You want to do it again. What mm. about if you're creating that situation and you don't know? But, but no, when you're, ma guys, marriage is not a joke. Like I would take, I would take marriage so seriously. Like if my past and I'm going to marry the love of my life forever, I, don't I think know. I would want a past. Yeah, I don't think I would either. I feel like even I don't need a past or a threesome. Like if we want to do it, we'll do it. Like it's not that deep. Wait, huh? No, like if like before <laughs> marriage. <laughs> Like before, like if you want to do a threesome with your partner, yeah, you would have those conversations. Anyways, yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be a free pass unless it's something that you actually don't agree with. Yeah, do you get it? If they've had the conversation, like I actually We're don't, like, I'm thing. not comfortable with threesomes. Mm. But then he's like, oh, the free pass is a threesome. It's she has to either say no. I'm not comfortable with a threesome. I, I'm not comfortable. At all. I can't. You can have another pass. But the threesome, you know how there's um, there's boundaries? That could yeah, be her, that's, that's her, her boundaries. Yeah. And I feel it. that's like that's fair. fair. Like, I feel like if she was to say to him, I want a threesome, but I want two guys and you're one of the guys, I don't think he'll be down for that. Absolutely. And it's I like, but that's my past. Know. Yeah, that's the past. So it's communication. He will have, and I just feel like guys always stick by their boundaries and they're very clear when they communicate it. 100%. And we're so understanding and I feel like... Lenient to it as literally, well. Literally, yeah. so... It's so fair for you to also stand but on yours. But I feel like if you guys are going to get married, then I can't lie. Like, you guys should be able to have a conversation. Like, she should be able to tell her man right now. Like, I'm married. You know, marriage is meant to be forever. Yeah, like, it's not a joke. You should be able to be yeah. like, babe, I don't want a threesome, man. Like, I don't like that. I'm not comfortable with Let's... that. Like, what's your other past? What, yeah. do you want us to go have sex in the rain? Do you want us to go have sex no, in the cinema? No, but, babe, like... I don't think the past is like they could cheat. <gasps> That's babe. Oh what my you? god, babe! I thought it was like her past isn't doing something wild that they babe, just wouldn't no. do normally. That's your husband. Come on, like if I'm gonna oh have sex god. with my husband in the rain, like we're gonna do that. I don't so need a past for that. A past is like. He can go yeah, ahead someone you else could do something, something. No, and, and it's like no need for it's a allowed. That's why he's no, he wants no. to, his he wants to do his one as a threesome because they can bring another girl into it. But isn't that better than him going having sex with someone else though? It's like oh, it's kind of cute. You want to use yeah. your past and still include me in yeah. it. <laughs> oh, how romantic! <laughs> yeah, low key. <laughs> I mean, it's just at the end of the day, like sex is meant to be. If it's anything sexual, you both have to be comfortable. Yeah. Like point blank. Period. 100. If she's not comfortable, she has to have that communication with him. Say, I can't lie to you. This part for me is crossing my boundary. Is there another option to fulfill your needs and get it done? Because is this just to get out of your system, in it? Yeah. But low key, I just feel like you should have got out of your system if you got in a relationship. Just saying. Yeah, I just feel like why yeah. do you, I just don't get like why do you want to pass? Okay, we're getting married. Like and so and so. Have like, you never had sex somebody else before? Yeah. And that's why we've agreed to stay with each other because yeah. we clearly like what we've got going exactly. on. Exactly. I feel like some some people are cool. I feel like when I obviously we're a bit older, we we've been we've experienced life and stuff like that. So I feel like but some, maybe people get bored. I don't know. Like I've yeah. never had and maybe that sometimes I want to spice it up because you know some people are married and they'll still do a threesome mm. like in the marriage. Like having threesomes isn't something that's oh my god. Yeah. Well. I don't know if it's other people, but it's but not I like guess, a, oh uh, my but god. She, thing. she has to have the boundaries because I feel yes. like, you know, like a threesome can be, it could be different. It could be like he doesn't actually penetrate the other girl. Yes, Maybe it's a him, yes. him watching you and the other girl. Yeah. Or, and then yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like you can or have boundaries within yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she needs to ask him, like, if we was to have a threesome, what kind of threesome are you looking for? And is, is she and comfortable levels? with even being intimate with an, like having sexual experiences with, with another, another girl? girl? Like yeah. she might not even be comfortable On with that. that. Like, yeah. How do you feel about passes though? Do you feel like, oh, I guess by your reaction, you don't agree with a whole pass? I feel like, okay, so Matt, okay, so you're you're about to marry your man. So that means that means you're basically saying that that's it, I'm done. There's no streets, there's nothing. But low key in a relationship, you should have already been done that. Before you even get in a relationship, you should have done all the bullshit you want to do. Or you should have done all the stuff you want to do. And then you get in a relationship knowing that it's out of your system. And again, into marriage, it's like, that's just the next step. There isn't anything other than that. But for me, if I was in a relationship and we're about to get married, 
I would feel some kind of way if you'd want a free pass. Because I'm just thinking... Who mm. suggested the pass as well? Because I would start looking... What did she say? Was it... She, she just said they both... They both. Yeah. She so was she... Like, so Loki, because she for me... Go, you know. No, because for me, I'll start reading into it. Like, why you suggest... Yeah. Like, if you suggested the pass, I'll be thinking about... You want to F. So you want to F. And yeah. I, well, I might just agree with it because you suggested it. So I'm like, okay, well, if it's a pass, let me just do it as well. As but well, yeah, yeah, low yeah. key, is it what I want? Exactly. I don't, I don't think you... You would definitely not do a pass. Oh, 100% you not. You would do I don't... I feel like... I would say I don't. No, I don't want to pass. Like, realistically, what do you mean? Like, I would be more willing to... Like, in the relationship have, Yeah, like, in something. the relationship, I'd be more willing to spice it up and be like, actually, why not? Like, you can't have sex with the girl. But if it's a thing where uh, I'm nah, comfortable... I could, babe, there's no way. And then we come back home and I know maybe we went to... Did you use your pass today? Did you use your pass yesterday? <sighs> hmm... Are you about happier? Is it because yeah. you've used your past? I think when you, I feel like when you open up with the past, it opens, it means you can do it again. I feel like it so opens up. Uh, you would be like, oh, we've done it last time. It didn't affect our relationship. Like, why can't we? And that opens to an open Yeah, because it could be like four years later and yes. you think your marriage is going down. He was like, okay, should we do the past? Yeah. Now you the past is it like out. a regular thing. Yeah, and it just becomes too sticky. Personally, I like, feel like there's other ways to spice it up. Like, I feel like, do you what, know? How would you spice it up? Okay. Do you know what I feel like I would suggest one day if I I'm like bored of my marriage. Tell me. Like, I'll be like, okay, let's go out to a club. I and know then... what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Gonna you're going to act like different people. No. Is it? Like, what are you going to say? Like, we act like we're single. Like, you... Babe, it's different people. Babe, no, babe, babe, but babe. no, I am mean. But like, but obviously single. let guys come up to me. Like, you okay. know, like sometimes like as a man, you see other guys going Moving up to, to your girl. girl. Like, I'm dancing with other guys. Like, I'm fl- <gasps> yeah, like yes, we're acting yeah. like we're single. Like, and then like, yeah, you just then, break it up. And then you're like, that. I'm hoping that will get you mad horny, like, while wow, all these girls, guys, guys want my girl. Mm. And then it's like, as you're just getting angry and angry, that anger inside you will just, just make me, me differently. Because, <laughs> <laughs> babe, if I was out with my man yeah, and then yeah, he's, yeah. I see him in a club talking to other girls, dropping game on yeah. them. <laughs> Anyways, what would you do to spice things up? Um, I, to be honest, like, no. Like, if you had to, like, do I, something that not involved someone else, but, like, playing on someone else, or you're just not down for... No, babe, the... um, you know me. I'm very, I don't even, I'm not even, like, worried about that part of my life at all. What do you mean? Like, I just would never worry about spicing shit up. Like, I just know that like, I've got that in me. Like, No, if but I, I mean, was... like, if your mum was to be, like... Yeah. You know, like, sometimes you, you want... You want a third party, but you don't want a third party. Do you oh, know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want you to have sex with another girl. Or like, I don't want to... Sometimes you need to... Well, let me say not sometimes, like it is. But, you know, sometimes you see your man in action with an, another girl, but not actually penetrate another girl. But it just kind of Ooh. brings it back, like... Oh, yeah, he's actually got game like that, like... Oh, yeah, because sometimes... You know sometimes, like, keep me on my tippy toes. I need yeah, to feel a little bit like, like just get whoa, that I can little, lose this guy. Rage a little bit. Yeah. Is that, I'll be toxic. I don't think, I think that's toxic. I think it's... it's oh, is it toxic? Let us know in the comments, guys. But I don't think it's toxic. I think it's... Fu- oh, is it, babe? Is Loki toxic? But no, we're both agreeing to it. It's just like to... Oh, yeah, but, and it's each of their own, you know? Yeah. It's, some people don't do that. That's fine. And some people are happy with that and it works for them. So yeah. it's each their own. So I feel like, yeah, I, I'm i too much of a free spirit to just be plain sailing, doing vanilla for a couple of years. You, like, I you need, definitely need yeah, some I need scotch it, bonnet and that. Oh, yes. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> But guys, let us know, like, yes. what other people that have even been married, like, what ways do you yes, spice, spice things it up? up? It's time for Madness with Maz. On to Madness with Maz. Let's right. go. Guys, Adrian, I need to talk about Love Islands. Okay, oh, I feel okay. like we dip in and out when we talk about Love Island because okay. sometimes it's given, sometimes it's not. But, whoa, the one thing I did want to talk about was Whitney and Ella. I couldn't sit here and say, okay, sorry, I maybe shouldn't have said it like that. But if I didn't think it was true, I would take it back. But Ella, you are the most selfish person I've ever met in my life. You genuinely hurt me as my friend. I thought we were close and clearly- You can't say that we're close when you pick me in the challenge for being the most smug. That was on Twitter because I feel like people were really picking sides. Yeah. So for context, right? So if you guys are watching Love Island, you'll know who Whitney is and you know who Ella is and they are actually friends. Both in really good couples and there was a situation from a challenge which led to the two two favourites, basically, friends beefing. Um, so there was a challenge where you had to basically um, pick which couple was a certain type of... Like most smug. Most smug, right. So... Um, Tyreek and Ella, who are coupled together, picked Whitney and Lockham, who are coupled together. But 
there was another thing that was picked, which was who's the most attention argu- attention seeking. seeking. Was attention seeking argumentative? Attention seeking. Attention seeking. Which Whitney and Locken picked Ella and Tyreek. So yeah. both couples who are friends have basically picked each other for certain for things. Yeah. However, it seemed as if Whitney felt some kind of way for Ella saying as her friend, calling her smug. Yeah. Which Ella didn't feel like it was that deep because it was just like it's a challenge. Like if I felt yeah. you were really that smug, I'll tell you as a friend yeah. one on one. And on Twitter. I felt like there was Team Ella and there was Team Whitney. Yeah, and then and people were like, oh, but if you can't see Whitney's point, then you're, you're this, this or you're that. that. And I'm like, why do you people love to bring their own thoughts in? Because I don't think that now there's yeah, something wrong with me. Yeah, and it's got nothing to do with... Maybe there's something wrong with you. Have you ever thought about that? So I'm going to ask your opinion uh-huh. and, I'm gonna, and I'll tell you mine. So... As a viewer, mm-hmm. what do you think of that whole situation? Because the situation is being called smug, the selfish comment, and then on top of, I think, the the apology okay. as well. So, so how I saw it yeah. is that I didn't see, for me personally, I didn't see smug as that disrespectful. Like, yeah. I just saw it as like, you know when you're Cocky. smug, Who's the yeah, most, you're like, smug in yeah. your couple. Like, yeah, I'm quite like smug with who I've got. He's a good yeah. guy. I haven't had trials and tribulations yes. with him. Yeah. I haven't had to go through all this headache. So yeah, I'm quite smug like with, where I'm at, that's how I saw it. I didn't see it as like such a bad thing. Yeah. And then, but I still saw it as like, okay, fair enough if Whitney wants to be upset about that, she has every right to be. Like whoever's upset is upset. You can't tell people what to not be upset about. But I felt like she could have um, approached Ella a bit differently. Like she didn't really tell Ella like, okay, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of upset about this challenge like you calling me that she kind of was trying to make it seem like it wasn't the challenge yeah she was like it wasn't a challenge I don't need a challenge to tell you about yourself but I was getting that if if Ella never called Whitney smug would you have called Ella selfish yeah and then obviously people are saying that Ella made a comment saying oh are you the youngest in your family oh yeah you can tell it 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 makes sense you can tell but I didn't see that as a Maybe, I don't know, I just don't get offended easily. But Ooh. for me, I just see it as like, you know, the youngest in the family or the youngest sibling is always like a bit spoiled or they're used to getting their way or you don't wow. really have to fight Do you know what's crazy about that? I've I've literally said that to my friend because I was like... I, I, it wasn't youngest I said like, your only child yeah and then she said yeah I said yeah it makes sense yeah that's something yeah, I would yeah, say yeah, well, I would say like, oh, oh are you the oldest because then they, sometimes you just get advice from yeah. people and it's like oh I could tell yeah, so yeah. that's why I didn't really see it as like something mad offensive yeah. like th- there's just certain traits with youngest middle and eldest that, that you just, just kind of tell move, and yeah. it's not an, it's not a rude thing it's, it's just, just like, like an oh, observation it makes sense. Yeah. yeah so when that happened I was just kind of like, and then even the way Whitney was talking, it was as though like, yeah, I stand by what I say and like, you're the most selfish that I've ever I've met. met. I think that's what it was. Yeah. And then she kept yeah. on like adding that I've met in my life. I felt like she was really trying, like I felt like I was getting vibes that she was trying to get under her skin. Yeah. But. Um, at the same time. At the same time. Wait, what was Ella doing again? I feel like um, Ella is not good at communicating as much as Whitney. Like, Whitney yeah. can give her point across, stay calm and collected, whereas yes. Ella is a bit more, passionate. like, passionate, a bit loud, yeah. a bit... Yeah, she's irate, a little, like, yeah, yeah she's a bit defensive. So she, like, yeah. she doesn't know how to get her point across. With that, in a calm way. In a calm yeah, yeah. manner. So I feel like they both had points, because... So. Yeah, Ella, I would have been, I would have been offended if like, oh, so now all of a sudden you're calling me selfish, selfish. but we've been friends for all this while you and you didn't have this much energy. Like, yeah. if you've got a problem with me, you say go it. in person a shower, you know let me know. Yeah, and I, I, I always feel like it's not what you say is how you say it. Like for me personally, I'm, I can be quite sensitive, so I feel like my friends don't have to tread, tread, tread with me, and I think it's so important to know your friend enough to know what you can say to them. Yeah, I feel like if Whitney maybe approach it like, Ella, I got to talk to you, I can't lie recently I've been feeling that you're, you've been a bit selfish because this, 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 it, it's not giving, um, you're not giving examples of it because how am I supposed to know my actions or what if, I'm doing? Because obviously, if, aware. yeah, if someone's telling me I'm moving some kind of way, like I, I want my friend to check me because sometimes you just don't know. Like yeah. if I'm moving mad, if I'm moving wrong, tell me, tell me in the way where I can understand it, take it in and also be willing to change because yeah. if it's coming with like, your, because I think what Ella said was like, you're coming for my character yeah. and I feel like if you're coming for someone's character rather than saying like, no, an example of something you're doing that's upsetting me as your friend, I love you and I don't want us to have this, then how else am I going to take it? Do you know what yeah. I mean? So I think it was the way Whitney said it rubbed Ella the long, wrong way yeah. and because you didn't give examples, but who do you think is going to win though just to round off the Love Island talk? Oh, I actually don't know. I think... Whitney and Lockham will probably win. 
I kind of feel like Tyreek and Ella still also have a good shot. Like, yeah, he same. actually has stands and he has stands as well. Yeah. yeah, so I'll be happy if Whitney or Ella won, basically. Same. But, but yeah, let then. us know your yeah. thoughts, guys. Um, hashtag. Because yeah. it's next week, isn't it? Yeah, the final. But yeah, hashtag press podcast. Mm-hmm. I've been Adiona Patron. I've been Mary Musa. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching Peaches. Remember, you can listen to every episode of Pressed on the BBC Sounds and be the first to see more from us right here. Make sure you're subscribed to the BBC Sounds YouTube channel.